the first step is you've got to build a sequence of videos. If the very first video you build is the one that goes viral, you're a flash in the pan. So you build your foundation first. Um, and then once you've got your foundation, the next step is you start getting a consistent video um, uh, release going. And you can think of this like a, like a TV channel where you know that you know, every Sunday at 10 p.m. you get to watch Walking Dead. You know, they need to know that every whatever day it is at whatever time, they're going to get to see you. And then once you've got that consistency down, then you start pushing in the viral videos every so often. And that's your three parts. So first I've got my foundation, I've got my core videos, I can take you through how to do that. Then you have your consistency down. The consistency doesn't have to be every day, it can be once a week, it can be once a month, but what matters is they know the schedule. They know when to expect it so that they go, oh, I'm really excited, this thing's happening, and then they tune in. Um, and then lastly, we're adding to that schedule the viral content. Because the viral content is the hardest to make, so you don't want to be doing it every time. You know? Unless you can, if you've got the willpower and the money, then sure, do it every time. But most people are going to want to do one viral video for every four normal videos they do, just so they're not busting their ass creating content. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, that's the thing. Like some people might think uh, video is really hard and uh, to get something to go viral, like impossible. Um, but it sounds like you've got a process. You've done multiple things. Uh, so you're probably someone that we should, we should listen to. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's, it's pretty easy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, easy. All right, cool. Uh, the, the foundation, what do we need to do in, uh, in, in that? So part? your foundation, I'd knock out 20 videos to start off with. Um, they're going to be, it's going to be the hardest you ever work creating videos. And the easiest way to do that is to use something like BuzzSumo, uh, which is a great tool. I'm sure you're having other people mention it. Um, I often recommend that they're based around your keywords as well, the kind of things that your customers are going to be typing in to search for to look for you. So, uh, you know, if I've got a supplement business, then, you know, people are like, how do I get ripped quick? I probably want a video of how to get ripped quick. So that way, once somebody sees my viral video, they come back and they see this base of 20 videos answering all the questions they've got. Um, I also think it's a good idea for your frequently asked questions to make a video for each frequently asked question too. So that way, when they come back to your YouTube channel and your Facebook page, they're seeing this list of frequently asked questions, but it doesn't say frequently asked questions. It's just the actual question itself. Like, you know, are you a scam or, you know, uh, how can I pay you? Um, and also, will this work for me? You know, the kind of questions we normally get on FAQs, it's good to just have some videos to answer it. Um, so that way you're treating your YouTube channel and your Facebook and wherever else you're hosting your videos as a mini website in its, uh, in its own right, except they're picking and choosing what they want to look at. So that's your core foundation. So now I've got 20 videos. I've put them up online. There's very few views on them. No one really knows about them, but they are going to start gaining views. They're going to start gaining some traction and that's, that's absolutely key. Um, and I've got this base and each one of these videos pushes back to my website with a call to action and giving them a free ebook or a PDF or a blueprint, whatever it is, but at the end of every video. 